wouldn't actually mind just ripping lifts in the basement. Tons of incline bench plus some dumbbell work. But a legit gym, that's gonna be nicer. So I'm not actually sure what's in. Okay, so still just warming up to the top set, but I bet you guys are thinking the quality I would hope would be looking better. It's because for Christmas, Sam got me a new camera. So upgrading from just the phone method to legit camera. So this will be a long-term thing. It'll be good for inside the gym, good for outside on the golf course, and uh, it's just gonna be all around better. So super pumped to toy around with it and we'll see uh, we'll see how it I'm interested to see how it looks outside just because inside pretty consistent like lighting and everything just interested it'll be cool still warming up for the top set of bench. Not as much weight as over there, but the same amount of intensity. So let's just keep warming up, keep hitting it. Feeling good so far though. Two more. Oh my god. The fucking last two felt like they weren't even fucking moving. Oh. I feel like a little better form I could have got the last one. That felt good though. Holy cow. All right, let's drop down and do something. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Oliver. Little cat scratch when I was playing with him. He's a biter. You know, he fucking... You'll be scratching his stomach, and then he'll just start biting the shit out of you. And I was picking him up and let him down, and he scratched me. Mofo. Anyway. That's about, that was beyond failure with the assisted reps at the end. Felt super good. But now just dropping the weight down. And I guess I'm, I was pumped looking at the camera, just checking it out, doing all this stuff with it. Super happy, you know, said a ton of thank yous to Sam because that's a badass gift, camera. Like I was saying earlier, I can't wait to get outside and like toy around with it, especially at night with the golf. I think it'll be some sweet shots that we'll get. We're gonna take a little breather, then hit this set. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I almost fucking smacked my face. Oh. I don't know what it is. If I just don't have good form, I don't know. Still a good set. 
Okay, so, oh, let me change that. Sam just got off the machine and the pins all the way at the bottom. Again, not going that, not doing that, but still doing the same intensity. The bench sets, they're all right. I'm not a fan of fucking ending right here and having to rack it like crazy like I did. Still the same intensity and whatever. Just kind of a little, feel like an idiot doing that. But do some chest press and then finish with the, the cross pushes, I think. I've been listening to a ton of, I've really, I just like ran out of music to listen to. And I've went from the classic, the Suicide Boys coming from a point like 001% percentile listener. But they were getting old just cause anything gets old after you listen to them forever. And then I went from Suicide Boys to like UK rap, which that's all right, like Central C. And then now that got old. Now I've been listening to a ton of like punk rock, like Blink-182 and shit like that. And this has been fueling it hardcore. Pretty good. It's like I'm in Inception or something. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, this is what I'm looking at. <laughs> so, last one here. Gonna bust out all the regular presses, do a little drop set, and then jump over to the dumbbells and do some kind of holding, raising them up with each. That's always a good way to end this, I think. And my music stopped playing. Or also, uh, Dragon Force is good too. I've been playing, after playing Fortnite Festival, and then thinking back to my old Lego rock band, my Lego rock band days, that was all like the punk rock, which boosted me into this phase, listening to those soundtracks again, like uh, Swing Swing or some Weezer or anything like that. Pretty good. Let's do this. Jump over the dumbbell. That felt super good. Let's jump over to some cable crossover, cable pushover, I don't know. Back to the music, all the punk rock kind of stuff. Ruby from Suicide Boys, which is 
easily my favorite, I, w I wouldn't call them a band, but like group, I don't know, artist. He, there's two of them. It's called Ruby and then this guy Scrim. And Ruby branched off and did his own album and it was punk rock. So I not only got Suicide Boys as a whole, I got Ruby doing a punk rock album, super good. But I talked about these before, just kind of side cable pushovers, feels super good. So we're gonna finish with this, do a little bit of shoulders and then call it. set of these and I kind of even though this is a squeezing motion I could go a little bit heavier so we're gonna move it up do one more on the left one more on the right and call it that'll be it for chest That is a wrap. So, oh, here, look at this. Uh, let me, yep, looks like somebody's done. Looks like somebody's waiting on me. So, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's gonna be a wrap on chest. Felt super good. All right, post lift, oh, let me sit down here. Post lift extras with the Sulix. So that was about a 35 minute lift, I'd say. We kind of warmed up for a while. I mean like maybe 10 minute warm up, then 30-ish minute lift. So 10 minute warm up, 30-ish minute lift. And even though we came here together, coming here together, we're not gonna come in and flap gums for 10 minutes because really all the time you needed was 30 minutes. But now that we're done, it's even more satisfying to sit and yap. Yeah, I mean, I'm more of a, I'm more of a yapaholic post lift. I, it's like you don't even wanna make gains if you got 20 minutes of yapping in between your workout. <laughs> I mean, I could do a whole chest workout, wait 20 minutes and then just probably do half of the, the intensity of it again. It's, ugh. Yeah. Maybe just don't have the itch for a pump if that's you. Exactly. That's all I can say about that situation. 
Yeah, look how this motherfucker's walking. Ah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs>